ISTQB Foundation Level, question 193. Given the following benefits and drawbacks of the independence of testing. 1. The testers work in a different location from the developers. 2. Testers question the assumptions programmers make while writing code. 3. A confrontational dynamic has been established between testers and developers. 4. Developers have convinced themselves that testers are mostly accountable for quality. 5. Testers have different biases than those held by the developers. Which are most likely to be considered benefits? Answers A. 1 and 4 B. 2 and 5 C. 1, 3 and 4 D. 2, 3 and 5 Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ISTQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed enhancing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ISTQB questions on a regular basis. Considering each of the listed benefits and drawbacks of the independence of testing, let's look at all the statements from 1 to 5 according to ISTQB syllabus. Statement 1. The testers work in a different location from the developers. Ideally, we want close collaboration between testers and developers which is not increased by isolation. Thus, this is a disadvantage. Statement 2. Testers question the assumptions programmers make while writing code. Testers and developers have varied backgrounds, technical viewpoints and potential biases, allowing testers to useful challenge assumptions made by stakeholders during system specification and implementation. Thus, this is an advantage. Statement 3. A confrontational dynamic has been established between testers and developers. The main disadvantage of independence in testing is that testers may become isolated from the development team leading to communication problems, a lack of collaboration and potentially an adversarial relationship with testers being blamed for delays and bottlenecks in the release process. Thus, this is a disadvantage. Statement 4. Developers have convinced themselves that testers are mostly accountable for quality. One of the disadvantages of independence in testing is that testers may become isolated from the development team, leading to developers feeling less accountable for quality. Thus, this is a disadvantage. Statement 5. Testers have different biases than those held by the developers. The primary benefit of independence in testing is that testers are most likely to identify different types of failures and defects compared to developers. Due to their varied backgrounds, technical viewpoints and potential biases, including cognitive bias. Thus, this is an advantage. In summary, the list entires showing benefits are 2 and 5. And correct answer is B.
explanation. Finally, let's look at the section 1.5.3, independence of testing in the ISTQB syllabus, where we can see that the main benefit of independence of testing is that independent testers are likely to recognize different kinds of failures and defects compared to developers because of their different backgrounds, technical perspectives and biases. And developers may lose a sense of responsibility for quality. This is fully consistent with the statements 2 and 5. I do think that you are an incredibly talented person and it will be ridiculously easy for you to answer such kinds of questions. If you figure out all the ISTQB questions on my video channel for absolutely free, only for subscribe, and then passing the Certified Tester Foundation level exam will not be a dream, but a reality. Never give up.